many of you know anything about momentum or about Jeremy Corbyn. And I don't know how many of you are involved in politics or even want to be involved in politics. But I'm going to tell you today why politics for me is about remembrance of our ancestors. Now, I went through a process of becoming black. I went through a time of becoming conscious that I was black. And many of us are told what it means to be black. We're told by the media. We're told by the books we read. My first opportunity to have that was when I landed in this country in 1959. I didn't know I was black. I just thought I was a human being. Suddenly, when I arrived in this country, I was told I was black. And I was told I was a certain kind of black person. And for anyone who remembers this country in 1959, which is when I came, age five, when I came to Brixton and went to the school and I was the first black child in my Brixton school and people told me that I couldn't read even though I'd been reading for years and they told me I couldn't read because I was black. And so I fell silent for two years. Now that kind of racism, that level of prejudice, thank God, is not what we have now. But we have other forms of racism. We have other forms of racism which are just as bad and just as debilitating. Any of you who have tried to get on in any organization know this is so. Any of you who go outside of London or go out of your community know this is so. And the question comes, where is that racism from? Why is somebody of colour valued less than somebody who is white? I started to understand that when I started to research my own background and I started to research the links between the great houses that we have in this country, of the great estates of the rich people in this country. And what I found was almost all of their wealth was based on the plantations, was placed, was placed on the hard work, on the blood, on the sweat, and for women, on the reproduction rights that we had taken away from us when we were taken and kidnapped and enslaved. Now, how do we change that? Well, we change it in many different ways. We change it by coming together as groups of people and speaking as one. And we come together to work politically. Because let me tell you straight away, if we don't change the politics of this country, we will change nothing. Now, for me, the way I'm doing it is I'm in the Labour Party, I'm the vice chair of my local Labour Party, I'm the vice chair of Momentum, and I'm there to back Jeremy Corbyn and to back the new politics of Jeremy Corbyn. Now there's plenty enough to change there. There is still work to do, and we're all going to be doing that. But brothers and sisters, we need to be doing that now. We need to be doing that as a black community. We need to start saying, it's not just good enough for you to want our votes. You have to want our voices too. And the only way to do that is to start voting, start demanding, and do it now. Brothers and sisters, thank you.